Hey, Tom. I am just taking a quick look through geojson.io, and I thought I'd show you what my screen looks like as I do this. So, let me quickly do this. And as that infinitely scrolls off into the distance, let's look at geojson.io. Uh, I've zoomed, in, zoomed into a location where I'm going to be loading in some, um, some geojson. You can see all the tiles have loaded a little bit slower than I'm accustomed to Mapbox tiles coming in, but it's still coming in fine. Uh, now I'm going to drag and drop uh, a example of some parcel, or actually an example of some buildings just off the screen where I am. And now you can see this element seems to be the one that's uh, taking a fair amount of time to load in. Um, not sure what's going on with that. They're a, a blob going into geojson.io. Uh, but you can see as soon as that's loaded in, uh, I'm attempting to do a click and drag and it delays. Um, try and zoom in. Um, and it's fairly clunky. Um, now as soon as I try to set editing, um, the resources start loading really slowly, and it actually impacts the tiles. Uh, the tiles stop loading altogether. So uh, I'm not sure what order of operations is going on here, but uh, I've, you know, it probably I, I'm definitely pushing the limits here. I've got 10,000 features loaded in. Um, all their geometries are pretty simple, but that still is um, what we're noticing as a lot for uh, GeoJSON performance in a browser. Uh, my question to you, if you have a moment, is um, where can I find out how SVG performance is occurring? Because um, I'm sure there's a better place to look than the, uh, the JavaScript console here, but it, performance is definitely slowing down. Um, there are only a few hints in the, uh, the network tab here as to what's, going, what's causing that. And um, yeah, I'd like to help you run that down if possible. Anyway, hope all is well, and thanks for building this awesomeness. Peace.